Hi, it's John Hodgson here from John Hodgson Maps. Uh, just a quick video to show you a cool new thing I'm offering to my extra tier patrons this month. Um, funky little map with lots of customizable elements, so let's take a look. Today I'm going to show you a really cool thing I have been working on. Now it starts off it's quite a plain, just little clearing there, there's a bit of bracken all around. This map is 17 inches wide, 11 inches high, so it's quite a nice poster size. But let's start adding some interest, so we can click on or off a great big boulder there. We can add in, look at that, that's pretty cool. We've got a kind of ring of stones, another stone, yet another stone to kind of uh, fight round or travel round, depending on how you run your games. And then we've got, look, a campfire there, which we can light or put out. That's pretty cool. We can take out any of the elements that we've put in. I've structured it in such a way this is all very, very modular. So you can mix it up completely. Uh, now, what else can we do? We can add in the edge of a river there. That's pretty smart. We can close that down so there's just a path coming in one edge. We can close it right up if we want. We can cover up that river edge with some more bracken. We can even close it right down, and indeed even further. Or we can bring in a bit of a river edge there. We can bring in uh, the river at the top there, so that's quite a different setup there. We can swap that out. We can put that back in, and of course we can get rid of our stones, we can get rid of our campfire altogether if we want. We can just mess with it to our heart's content. So that is pretty cool. Now this all runs a little bit faster. The way I'm showing you now is in Photoshop. Works the same, it's just a little bit more ugly. It re-renders each time in Adobe Acrobat. Uh, but you can click the same layers on and off, exactly the same. You'll also get a, a hex grid and a square grid that you can click on or off as you require. But yeah, this is a pretty exciting way to make modular maps that will give you hopefully an awful lot of usage in your games. And like I say, it only costs you a few dollars to get involved on Patreon. The address is patreon.com forward slash John Hodgson Maps. I'm sure there'll be a, a link in the video notes. So that's pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed a quick look at that and uh, hopefully see you on the Patreon. Thanks. Bye.